The Mandela Effect is a phrase people use to describe their own powerful memories that don't seem to match our recorded history. Two things seem to make those memories powerful. One is how certain the individual is that the memory is genuine and correct. The other thing is the consistency of those memories across a wide range of people who otherwise seem to have no connections, personal or geographical. The phrase Mandela Effect started at DragonCon. DragonCon is America's second largest sci-fi and fantasy gathering. It's similar to Comic-Con. 2009 was one of the many years when I was among DragonCon celebrity guest speakers. And, as usual, in the green room, we had fun and zany conversations. They help us relax between our speaking gigs at that event. Many of those conversations are simply silly. We talk about funny things we've encountered in connection with our work. We talk about how weird and fantastical topics are that we've heard about from others. And now and then, our conversations take a turn towards the serious. It was during one of our 2009 conversations that DragonCon's chief of security, called Shadow, joked, This conversation reminds me of people who remember Nelson Mandela dying decades ago. That got my attention because I was someone who had one of those memories, but I'd never mentioned that memory to anyone else because it seemed so weird, and I'd never found an explanation for it. That conversation attracted the interest of other people in the green room. I have no idea which one of us first used the phrase Mandela Effect, but it was certainly easier than repeatedly saying, people who remember Nelson Mandela dying years ago. After that conversation, I spoke with one of my book editors. She suggested that we start a website about it to see if there was much interest. At that time, I thought that odd Mandela memory was one of a kind. Well, <laughs> it's been nearly 10 years since then. During those years, tens of thousands of readers have shared their unexplained memories and theories about them in conversations, emails, and comments at the Mandela Effect website. It turned out that the Nelson Mandela memory was the tip of the iceberg. Today, the phrase Mandela Effect usually means any memory, generally something from popular culture, that multiple people recall but cannot find any foundation for in recorded history. It's a weird topic, I know that. There are some logical explanations for some alternate memories as well, but we still don't have answers for all of them. The Mandela Effect is unusual in the field of paranormal research. Anyone can experience it, no matter where they are or what their backgrounds. All it takes is that one memory, something they're absolutely certain of that doesn't fit this reality. The Mandela Effect is personal. More than any other kind of paranormal research, the individual is the only one who can evaluate the evidence. Some may want to rule out every possible normal explanation. I encourage that. Others are more certain of their memories. A lot depends on context and how much the individual incident or memory was supported at the time. I won't say it's like a light switch, either on or off, but most people either get the Mandela effect or they think it's nonsense. Most skeptics seem to insist that it's all confusion, conflation, or false memories. What's odd is how ferociously they protest the Mandela effect. They attack it with a zeal I don't see happen with other paranormal theories. Really, that's very strange. But hey, I've never felt that I had to prove anything about the Mandela effect. The phenomenon is too widespread for me to doubt its existence. Oh, I keep an open mind about individual memories, including my own. But for me, the Mandela Effect passed the Occam's Razor test long ago. At this point, I have no idea what the Mandela Effect really is. I don't know what causes it. All I can say is how very strange it seems, because so many people seem to share similar or even identical memories, with nothing in this reality to support those memories, except fellow believers. If you remember something like the books being Berenstein Bears, not Berenstain Bears, or Luke, I am your father, or even Nelson Mandela dying in the 20th century, that might be the Mandela effect, and you are part of this adventure.